Hello everyone, this is Dr. Santos. So today we will be talking about a very very important topic that actually is not covered that much. People, I haven't seen many people talking about this but this is very important topic. So we will talk today about intracellular covalent metabolism and then relevance of, the, relevance of that intracellular or application of that intracellular covalent metabolism to understand the disorders that, is, that are related to vitamin B12. And then we also talk about the diagnosis and that diagnostic test that are, that are useful for understand to diagnose those disorders. So we will first start with the question. So question is like why do we need to do a vitamin B12 profile for comprehensive diagnosis of vitamin B12 related disorders rather than vitamin B12 alone. So why do we need to do vitamin B12 profile for comprehensive diagnosis of vitamin B12 related disorders rather than doing vitamin B12 alone. So we will answer this question in today's lecture. So these are the disorders related to vitamin B12. So there are many disorders you will see, you'll see they, they can be present in combination at the same time or few of them will be present or few of them are absent. So based on the deficiency of proteins that are related to vitamin B12 metabolism the disease will present. So there are actually uh, though vitamin B12 has only two enzyme functional enzyme in our body. Only two functional enzyme are there in our body for vitamin B12. One is methionine synthase and second is methylmalonyl coenzyme mutase. And methylmalonyl coenzyme mutase is mitochondrial enzyme while methionine synthase is a cytosolic enzyme. So only two enzymes are there one in mitochondria and other is cytosol and both name of both enzymes starts with M. So one is MM methylmalonyl coenzyme mutase that is present in mitochondria and then other M is present methionine synthesis which is, which is present in cytosol. So these are the disorders that are related to vitamin B12 deficiency. So vitamin B12 deficiency related disorders are uh, or metabolic deficiency. So megaloblastic anemia neuropathy so we already know we all know that megaloblastic anemia is because of folate trap in vitamin b12 so megaloblastic anemia will be there neuropathy is there and then pernicious anemia that is because of deficiency of intrinsic factor uh, and that will actually um, causes reduced absorption of vitamin b12 from the intestine that is ileum and that is why the pernicious anemia then third is homocysteinuria if vitamin b12 is apt deficient so um, the homocysteine will not convert into um, methionine that is catalyzed by methionine synthesis enzyme because of that homocysteinuria will happen. Now the methylmalonic aciduria can happen. So methylmalonic aciduria will happen because of def defective of mitochondrial enzyme, second enzyme of vitamin B12 and that is called methylmalonyl coenzyme immutase. Now these are the dish, these are the this is the B12 profile. So just memorize these five profiles are there. Five tests. If we do five tests together, then we can comprehensively approach to diagnosis. Where is the defect? Is? Where defect is? Now first we will do two tests together. So first we'll do. Uh, uh, first is the uh, vitamin test. So vitamin B12 and folate is there. And then second line is. Now with them we also. Um, this is very. Uh, cost effective test megaloperiphal smear for megaloblastic anemia we do this third test we generally do this and this third three tests we generally do but we need to incorporate two more tests so methylmalonic acid uh, estimation and homocysteine estimation as well so when we do this five tests together then we will reach a comprehensive diagnosis of vitamin b12 uh, deficiency or vitamin b12 the deficiency related to vitamin b12 metabolism now let's talk about what is the what are the what is intracellular metabolism of vitamin B12 look like. So vitamin B12 intracellular metabolism in, involve about ten protein, including those enzymes. Ten proteins are there. So let's talk about this ten proteins. Here it's not that difficult. It's easy. It's easy. So if we remember this sketch, like tree, I'll I'll call it I call I'll call it this brain map for you. So if you capture this image. This image and put into your brain so it's easy to capture the image itself they resemble a tree like of image so this is a stream of that tree the stream the main part of tree now these are the branches two branches are there in that branches two branches there will be again two branches 
the outer branches being long and inner branches here also are short so two branches among that two branches so this will look like very they are, they are very symmetrical so this here also two branches and one branches in the middle two branches and one branches in the middle so, so two long branches short branches in long branches there are two fruits just remember two steps where we will write something here here and we will also write these are these they, 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 these are those, the defect related to that here one defect so one and two defects so let's and this two defects are related that is why this long branches these two defects are related that is why long branches these are isolatedly seen because of deficiency of this enzyme this is methyl malonyl coenzyme and this is shown is mitochondria so in mitochondria methyl malonyl coenzyme mukase is present in cytosol methionine synthesis present though both names starts from m and now what happens is the cobalamin after absorption of cobalamin and it will enter into cytosol we are talking we are we are not talking about we will not talk about absorption of vitamin b12 we are talking about the topic that is mostly on task nobody teaches this topic that is why i am uh, making the video i am teaching for you here uh, so this uh, this protein they convert into one form of cobal cobalamin into other cobalamin that is very important for incorporation of this co this cobalamin into this proteins this methionine synthase and methyl malonyl coenzyme synthase so these are the protein just it's easy the proteins name actually are 10 they starts from a, a to h nine proteins and one methyl malonyl coenzyme mutase enzyme and this bcd protein they convert they actually reduce cobalamin 3 into cobalamin 1 and then what will happen this cobalamin 1 is the cobalamin which will incorp which will be incorporated in this proteins so if there is defective in defect in these proteins bcd what will happen all presentation will happen so this one two three four five six all presentation will happen so these are the presentation this is presentation that we see outside so all presentation will happen so what next so if there is this defect in this protein what will happen only three presentation this presentation will not be there if there is problem with this protein only this defect will be happen so this is the importance of this picture so if you keep this picture in your in your brain you can uh, easily diagnose the, the disorders related to intracellular protein now efg is related to methionine synthase a and h are related to methyl malonyl coenzyme a mutase actually this cobalamin e the cobalamin e actually is methylene synthesis itself so first it was the same cobalamin E and methylene synthesis was uh, first considered different, but they later they, they found that this both are to be same protein. This protein actually help convert this cobalamin into methyl cobalamin. Methylene synthesis has got methyl cobalamin. So this actually this protein convert this uh, cobalamin into methyl cobalamin, and this protein help incorporate this methyl cobalamin into the protein of methylene synthesis. The same thing is done by this A and H. So this A and H protein converts cobalamin into adenosyl cobalamin because this enzyme, methyl malonyl coenzyme A, contain uh, adenosyl cobalamin. So adenosyl cobalamin will be incorporated into this, and the cobalamin conversion of cobalamin into adenosyl cobalamin and incorporation is done done by the first protein A and last protein H. A and H protein that, that does incorporation of this uh, formation and incorporation of adenosyl cobalamin into the protein into the enzyme methyl malonyl coenzyme mutin. Let's see the uh, descriptive image where everything is written. See this image. So uh, this is the brain map you already know. So this is tree of brain map. So um, two disorders inside here. So two branches are there with one branches so again two branches related to this so only our body has only two vitamin b12 dependent enzyme. only two reaction vitamin b12 uh, related reaction but the synthesis of this enzyme takes many proteins so first this cobalamin 3 has to be converted into cobalamin 1 in, in inside the cell and this is done by very easy uh, to remember sequential protein you can say b c and d a starting protein will do a starting job except a a is really here a for adenosyl just remember a for adenosyl cobalamin so it's not the name but uh, it's it will be help you remember this 
so a for a genocide cobalamin so a will go here so bcd will perform the first function that is conversion of cobalamin 3 to cobalamin 1 and cobalamin 1 will become incorporated into protein by changing cobalamin either in one in either into methyl cobalamin or adenosyl cobalamin so these proteins cbl efg after b c d d efg so this protein actually incorporate this protein actually change this cobalamin into methyl cobalamin and actually for conversion of methyl and this methyl group in this cobalamin comes from folic acid and that is why if these proteins are defective what will happen methyl folate level will rise if there is defect in this protein methyl folate level will rise and methyl, why because methyl group containing folate is will not be utilized elsewhere will be utilized here only if it is not utilized here so uh, methyl folate will rise in blood it will not be utilized and because of that uh, high rise in methyl folate that is being uh, unused high rise meta, uh, methyl folate is called methyl folate trap and this folate trap actually causes folate deficiency and this is responsible for megaloblastic anemia so this all protein will convert this cobalamin into methyl cobalamin and incorporate this methyl cobalamin into this protein this enzyme called methionine synthase after incorporation of this this will catalyze different reaction it will this uh, enzyme will convert homocysteine into methionine if this proteins the, there is defective in this proteins or enzymes what will happen this will not function this protein will not be active so there will be accumulation of homocysteine there will be accumulation of methyl tetrahydrofolate and that accumulation of methyl tetrahydrofolate is responsible for megaloblastic anemia accumulation of methyl tetrahydrofolate is called folate trap and this megaloblastic anemia cause for megaloblastic anemia is folate trap and then what will happen after cobalamin 1 enters in, into mitochondria so in mitochondria what does this in there are three two proteins a and h starting protein a and last protein h so this a and h protein will incorporate uh, adenosyl to cobalamin so it will change cobalamin into adenosyl cobalamin uh, adenosyl cobalamin and this adenosyl cobalamin will be incorporated into this enzyme this enzyme called methyl malonyl coenzyme a because the co component of this enzyme is adenosyl cobalamin component of this enzyme is methyl cobalamin so adenosyl cobalamin will be synthesized and incorporated into methyl malonyl coenzyme a by this enzyme so see if there is deficiency in this enzyme what will happen so there will be problem with this there will be hyp hypoglycemia why hypoglycemia because methyl malonic acid that is being converted this enzyme will convert methyl malonic acid into succinic acid and succinic acid will convert into glucose so if this enzyme is absent so what will happen so though those uh, amino acid metabolism that um, those certain amino acid that converts into glucose will be interfered that is why hypoglycemia can be there and what else so because this methyl malonyl malonic acid is is not converted into uh, succinyl co succinic acids or succinyl coenzyme because of that what will happen is so accumulation of methyl malonic acid mma and this methyl malonic acid is responsible for neuropathy also so this is very important to understand this whole picture if there is deficiency so there will be if this proteins are deficiency so this all present there will be all presentation if there is pro uh, deficiency here the presentation presentation only relay will be folate trap megaloblastic so folic acid will be high vitamin b12 deficiency will not be there in the blood so folate will be very high at the same time megaloblastic anemia also and homocysteine level will high, become high but if there is isolated deficiency of this two protein or this enzyme what will happen this there will not be homocysteinuria or megaloblastic anemia there will be only methyl malonic acid will be very high and hypoglycemia will be there this is how you we can diagnose this um, disorders related to intracellular metabolism of vitamin b12 and uh, and we can um, we can analyze our test also based on this brain map if you see value in the video please like the video and sub subscribe the channel thank you